okay, this is going to be a series of videos on complex analysis pitched at maybe the undergraduate level. And I have a few books here that I highly recommend, things like Visual Complex Analysis by Tristan Needham, uh, Complex Numbers from A to Z, which will give you at least some of the complex algebra part of things, and then what's some of my personal favorite books on complex analysis, Function Theory of One Complex Variable by Green and Krantz, and Alfor's book is always a classic. There's also things like Lang's book and so on. There's, there's quite a few if you look through your university library. But uh, maybe these are pitched at more of a graduate level. So in any case, if you're taking an actual course in complex analysis, you'll probably already have an assigned textbook and you can use that. So complex analysis at this level really falls into, I think, three major, major components. First, you're getting cozy with the complex numbers. You're learning about basic complex algebra. You haven't really introduced any kind of analysis yet, any calculus yet. Then you get into a discussion of derivatives. That's kind of the second third of this course, the second component of this course. And you learn what the word holomorphic is and all of the different properties of holomorphicity. And uh, the unifying theme here is that there's this kind of single fundamental theorem of, of complex analysis I'm going to talk about where basically you have complex differentiability and you have a million different properties besides it that are all equivalent to it. And, you know, one of the things to keep in mind throughout this entire course... is how is, how is real analysis different from complex analysis? And that's going to be one of the things I'm going to stress here. So I like themes when I'm, when I'm teaching a subject. One of the major themes is comparing real variable theory to the complex variable case. Another major theme, especially in the second portion, is holomorphicity and its many different guises, which I'm going to call the fundamental theorem of complex analysis. I'm not the first one to call it that. But it's still not a common name. You'll see later on. And then there's these really interesting, interesting uh, integrals that you can perform, these contour integrals where you wrap around these points where there are singularities, and that's called the calculus of residues. You can, and there are some interesting applications of this complex variable theory, you know. It's said that the, uh, the shortest path between two truths in the, real in the real line passes through the complex plane. You'll understand that joke later on. But basically, we're just going to deal with complex algebra first. And then I'm going to move into, uh, finally, the complex analysis side of things, taking derivatives and then taking integrals. And I could go through this, this table of contents in greater details, but uh, you're not going to understand any of it until later on when we've developed more of this theory. So I'll just jump into the actual videos right now, and I hope uh, you're kind of looking at these little pictures and it's, it's intriguing to you and, and all the rest. So let's just kind of jump in.